in employee sheet you can see the filtered data where the year is 2020 but in employee details you can see the entire data hello and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing good so this video is just the continuation of my previous video where we learned that how we can implement read only grid along with custom filters okay and here i am with another video as promised so in this video we will learn about exporting multiple pages of filtered data to excel okay so without wasting further more time let's get right into the video all right so we need to design a process model but before even designing a process model you have to make sure that you have the data you want to export available in your appian environment okay this could be data from a database, a web service or any other data source that Appian can access. Cool? So now it's time to drag and drop the smart service onto your process model canvas. Okay. So you just have to type in the name of the smart service that is export data stored entity to Excel. Okay. Drag it and just keep moving it around this line until you see this blue highlighted line okay and as soon as you see this blue highlighted line that's when you should drop it okay now you can see it's properly connected right configure this smart service with the necessary parameter by double clicking on this head on to this data tab as you can see here we have a couple of parameters right like data store entity selection aggregation so we already have a data store entity configured in our appian environment that holds the data we want to export right which is from a database so here we have this constant which points to data store entity right i have created a new table called as employee and the data which i have in this table will be exported to the excel okay so i'll just map it with the constant which points to data store entity using cons domain cons all right just click save and close next comes selection selection is nothing but the columns which you want to export to your excel okay and you can select up to 50 columns cool so i'll just Use query selection to select which columns i want to export and here i have this parameter called columns where i can use a list of columns that would indicate which fields to retrieve okay using a bank query column first let me just show you guys the fields which i am going to export okay here i have my cdt named as as employee id which is a primary key okay year age mode of work so i will be exporting year age and mode of work i don't need id why do i have to show the id which is nothing but just the primary key it's not a good practice to show primary key right so i will be exporting year age and mode of work year i'll just copy it and paste it my bad should be here this should be age and this should be mode of work okay save and close then we have this aggregation it's completely up to you if you want to perform any operations kind of thing okay filters so as i said i need to export the filtered data right so i will have to filter it using a bank query filter query filter so i have these parameters over here field will be filtering my data against year okay so year then operator should be equals to that means it needs to find that value which i am going to provide in value parameter in this year field okay so value for the time being i am going to hard code it okay 2020 i'll come back to this part later it is just a hard coded value okay so that means it's going to find this value in this field and wherever it finds a match it is gonna return me those rows of data cool save and close new document name i will just provide the name as employee details okay new document description which is not really mandatory save in folder where you want to save your document 
so i have already created a constant for that which points to a folder where i'm going to store all of my documents okay here is this constant which i have created this constant points to this document folder okay is this is where i'm going to store all of my documents will map this field to that constant as folder okay then we have document to update which is not really mandatory include header true sheet name we have to provide the sheet name we'll just name it as employee sheet number it's going to be one and then these parameters are not really necessary okay so that's done now as i said i need to have multiple sheets in my excel so for that what i need to do once a document is created i will be storing that in a process variable okay just go to this output parameter and here where you want to store the result of this node okay so you just have to create a process variable for that new document which is of document type okay and map it with that process variable so once a document is created it is gonna get stored in this process variable because we want something out of this node we want the document to be able to use it outside the node okay that's the reason why i'm mapping it with this process variable now as i'm going to create multiple sheets in my excel i will have to utilize this smart service once again okay just copy this and then paste it okay it's connected it is just the copy of this node okay so here what you have to do go to properties okay head on to this data tab so here you have to select the data store entity if you want the same data to be exported in the second sheet as well then leave it as it is else just update it with the data store entity that holds your data okay but i'm going to export the same data in two different sheets cool so i will not be updating any of these parameters except the save in folder because i don't need this okay new document name because i'm not going to create any new document okay filter remains the same and one more thing we can do for this we can remove the filters so in the second sheet i'm not going to export the filtered data but in the first sheet i will be exporting the filtered data okay save and close and here comes my sheet name i will be naming it as employee details employee details okay this is going to be my sheet number 2 okay and then we have this parameter called document to update so i am going to update the existing document instead of creating a new document okay because i want those two sheets in a single excel right so here i will be making use of this process variable wherein i am storing the result of my previous note right new document so this is the process variable which holds the document created by the first note okay so it is going to update the existing document cool just click okay once this is done now we have to configure a way to trigger this export action okay this could be through a user action such as clicking a button on a form it could be anything which i will be showing in my next video that how we can trigger this process model for the export to happen okay and also i will be showing in my next video that how i can pass the data from interface to my process model instead of hard coding the value okay you just have to save and publish your changes save and publish and then start your process for debugging we are triggering it from here itself but in the next video we will learn that how we can trigger it from interface and how we can pass value to filter against from interface to a process model cool start process for debugging okay just refresh it seems like it's a success but let's see if it has generated any document or not go to process details variables here we can see in new document process variable a document has been 
stored right that means it has successfully generated the document and where we are storing our document in a folder right this is the folder where we are storing the document just click on this and download your file so as you can see here i have two sheets one of them is named as employee and the other one is named as employee details in employee sheet you can see the filtered data where the year is 2020 as we have hard coded the value of year right in filter parameter but in employee details you can see the entire data that our table holds and here we have four rows of data out of which there is only one row where the year is 2020 and that's the reason why you can see only one row in employee sheet cool so that's how it is working if you want more such videos please like my video share it as much as you can and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video until then cheers bye bye